everybody and welcome to Family Night. I'm Miss Camille and today we're going to be doing another STEAM craft together. STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. Today we are going to be making mazes with paper plates, straws, glue, and a marble. So let's get started. For this craft, you need a paper plate, a big sturdy one is helpful, a marble or something that rolls around really well, some straws, some scissors, a pencil and or pen, and some glue. So we are making mazes. So what you want to start with, let's put my marble over here, probably roll away. What you want to start with is drawing your maze out on your paper plate. So I'm going to draw it in pencil, and you can draw it any way. Just make sure you have a start and a finish, and make sure there's a path that your marble can follow all the way from start to finish. So, and then I like to add a few maybe obstacles, or you can make little paths that go to nowhere or to a dead end, and then that way you've got a challenge for your maze. Here's my maze, and I don't think you can see it, so I'm ready, and I'm going to draw it in sharp. Okay, so here's my maze. I've got it all drawn out, and I'm ready to put the straws on it. So what you want to do now is you want to measure out your straws and cut them about the length of each of your lines because you want to cover each of your lines with a straw. So you can make some borders for your little marble to roll through. Okay, so I cut out all my straws and made sure that they fit on all the lines. So now I've got the lines covered and I'm going to glue on all my straws. But just a note, make sure that when you drew your maze and when you put your straws down, there's enough room for your marble to go through. So just kind of place it in between. If you want it to go through somewhere, you want to make sure there's actually space to fit through, otherwise it won't be able to get through. So you just want to measure a little bit. You can actually measure this if you want, if you have a ruler, and make sure you have that much space. Or you can just kind of put it there and see that it's going to go the way you want it to go. And if it doesn't, just go ahead and cut down your straws a little bit so there's a little bit more space. And once you're totally ready, you've got it all set, you cut out all your straws, you just want to glue them down onto the lines that you make. Once you have all of your things glued on, you might have to wait a little bit, especially if you're using the Elmer's glue. You might have to wait a little bit before you start putting your marble in because you don't want it to move around. So I'm gonna wait a bit, but right now I'm gonna put in my start and finish lines. So I want the marble to start here. So I'm gonna write start, so I know. And then I'm expecting my marble to go through here. And then this is a dead end here. So then it's gonna go up and it's gonna finish right up here. So I'm gonna write finish here so I know where my goal is, where I'm trying to get. So once you're ready, you can, you can decorate it more if you want. You can wait for it to dry and then run your marble through it. And you can take it on all kinds of different paths. And you can make as many of these as you want. Once your straws are dry and they're stuck on there, you can put your marble in there at the start and you just want to roll it through. Uh-oh, went the wrong way. Roll it back. So I gave myself a little challenge. And 
finish.